My name is Shuan No. At UQ, I'm researching motor neuron disease. And um, because it's a neurological disease where people consider it to be multifactorial, so a lot of things contribute to the development of disease and also the progression of disease, my research is really focused on one aspect, which is how the body changes and how it uses energy throughout the course of disease and how this might affect how quickly the disease progresses. So motor neuron disease, it's a fatal disease where the nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord start to die. And as they progressively die, their connections that go out into the skeletal muscle and form those connections, those connections die and you start to get muscle weakness. So as more of the nerve cells die and more of those connections die, patients get um, progressive paralysis and eventually this leads to death due to respiratory failure and inability to breathe. And that usually happens on average 27 months after diagnosis. The goal of the research that I am conducting right now into energy use in motor neuron disease is to really identify if patients do have a change in the way that they use energy and if there is a change, why this is happening and how we can compensate for that. Being involved in, in the field of motor neuron disease at this point in time and I think in the future is, is exciting. Um, at the moment, motor neuron disease is really gaining traction. People are starting to become aware of what the disease is and awareness is being raised because of initiatives like the Ice Bucket Challenge. And what is happening is it's, it's drawing people's attention to, to the impact that this disease has on people. Meeting the patients and knowing how selfless they are and what they go through, what their families go through, what their children go through, inspires me to come to the lab every day to try and find answers for them. And to provide that message of hope that researchers are banding together both nationally and internationally to try to find the cause and the cure for this disease and to have a world free from MND.